All right. Well, maybe, maybe if we leave, maybe that'll make time go go by, and then we can do things. Uh. Oh, oh, people are arriving. Yes. Party. What's up? Dad. What's all the activity? It's all the hustle and bustle. It's almost time for the opening ceremony. Holy jeez, I better work fast. I think I got it all worked out. When it all comes together, Edna will think you're the worst guy in town. I just need a couple more pieces. Well, don't go to too much trouble. What do you uh -huh. mean? Oh. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> but I like how he said holy jeez because that's... That's what he says in Back to the Future 2. If you're watching it on TV, instead of saying holy shit, he goes, holy jeez. All weird, like, you got Edna to call it off? You thought of an easier way? You fixed the DeLorean? You got Edna to break things off? Not exactly. You see, I, I've been mulling things over. And, and what? Doc? Uh, in the timeline you're from. Yeah. The right timeline. The correct one. Yes, yes. Uh, I've got a wife. Yes. A great wife, Clara, and kids, and a dog, and a bitch in time train, and... And Edna? How does her story turn out? How does she end up? Oh. Ooh. Oh, well, Edna ends up... Alone. Because she's um, terrible. Alone and miserable. <laughs> Let's just crush his spirits. To be honest, she ends up kind of sad. Sad? She lives with some cats in a dinky little apartment, and she spends most of her time yelling out her window at people, and collecting newspapers, and living in the past. Pretty much. She... Hi! You're supposed to like me now! We don't! Perhaps Fuck off! We've been going about this problem the wrong way. Do we really have to completely obliterate my timeline so we can restore yours? Yes. Doc? Maybe we could have the best of both worlds. I could be with Edna, but it could be a little bit, you know, more healthy. No. Can you hear yourself? Do you, do you know what you're saying? Let me remind you. She turned Hidden Valley into a police state. She turned you into a puppet. She tried to erase your brain. Very good. And this all started when you came back into time and got fucking caught to be an arsonist. We're gonna goddamn fix this thing properly. Uh, yeah, that. She tried to erase your brain. Oh, she was terrible. No argument. Horrible. Uh, but she started. Did out she? With such pure intentions. Uh, so did Nero. I don't believe this. All I'm saying is, let's stop and take a breath. No. This elaborate plan to derail my younger self's love life is the short-term misery worth the long-term gain? Yes. Maybe we can find a third. Yes. One where everybody wins. No. What do you think? Uh. Short-term misery for a long-term gain is great in comparison to like maybe a little bit of coolness and then just the batshit insanity of the future. No. no. I'm sorry, Doc. I can't go along with what you're saying. You don't belong with Edna. Seriously. So you're determined to break us up in spite of my stated wishes. You're not in the right mind, Doc. Basically, yeah. Then there's nothing left to say. You better not take your time machine and go back in time and try to convince Wait, me to not do going? this. Why should it matter to you? Aren't you planning on overriding me? Yes. Fine. Bye, Doc. I look forward to meeting you when you're not stupid. I guess your intentions are good, but holy shit. Holy shit. You're the one that's always been harping on us for not changing things. Even one little change fucks everything up. So everything has to go back to normal, which means we have to destroy your past love life, okay? You just gotta have to deal with that shit. Hey, hey Edna, I hate you. No. That's all the questions yeah, I get. Bye. Well, then. Nothing new. That's fantastic. Okay, well. Hey, Artie. Hi, do, Grandpa. Do you have anything new for me? 
how is it going? The Hill Valley Expo will be a success. Okay, well, that's, that's nothing new either. Over and out. Hey, guy. Yeah? When does the expo Not open? Not till tonight. Okay, yeah, whatever. Snidely Whiplash. Uh, I still need a diamond. Okay. All right, so we're still kind of back at square one, even though now Doc is gone. Oh, well, okay. Although I do remember Trixie saying it didn't have to be real, it could be fake. Press button to experience... Now, wait, why is it looking at... Oh, it's just looking at the different things. I don't think I've visited that timeline yet. Nope, you have not. Nope, nothing there. Real quick, check out over here. No, not the truck. No, not the truck. No, not the... There we go. Hey, buddy. Oh, good. He's back. Yeah. I'm back. What kind of stuff have they got you hauling here? How the heck would I know? Elect Whatever. Okay. Stay out of trouble, cue ball. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> That'll always make me laugh. That's such a great read. Oops. All right, well, I guess our only option is to go back and... How's it going in here? Great. I'm almost ready to go. Oh, uh, okay. We just needed to do that and... All right, well, uh, uh, I still need a diamond. Emmett? Yeah? Okay, well, okay, clearly, there's no way. I think I've exhausted all the things in here, so I guess we go back to the main place and see what we can do. Oh, he's back! Uh, Doc? Hey, the light's green. Hey, it is. Hey, the light's green. But there's... The door's not open, and I'm walking through the DeLorean. I am inside the DeLorean right now. Hmm. For some reason, I don't think this is supposed to be here. <laughs> hey, Edna. Hey, Edna, I need some help. <laughs> you can get some help. I'm stuck <laughs> in a fucking car. Uh, there's a projection screen. Emmett uses that projector to trigger positive and... Hmm. I wonder if non-visual steam... Yes. Like this. Ow! I just don't understand. I don't... I don't... Man. Ow. I'm missing only one thing, and I have no clue. Ow. As far as I know, there's no one I can talk to. And none of the items seem to work Ow. with any of the things that I have access to. But it has to be something simple. Ow. But I just don't know what it is. So now I'm just going to do this no. until something comes to me. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Oh, God damn it. It's got to be something. Yep, nothing new. That's all the questions that I got. That was great. Very well, then. Thanks for that, Edna. Hey, you want some motor oil on your dress? No, not in the DeLorean. The DeLorean isn't really there, Marty. That's it's in your not head. the person I want to get messy. Well, oh my god. Damn, am I gonna have to look this shit up? I don't wanna have to look this up. There's only two locations. There's two places I can exist in this fucking game right now, and I can't figure this out? There's gotta be something I'm missing. Let's just go inside. Yeah? When does the X night? Uh, beat him to death with the skateboard or the can of oil. That's, That's not, not the person I want to get messy. Thanks, Marty. Thank you. Look, I'm pretty sure I've done everything. I... I don't... I don't know. Maybe the thing that makes rainbows... Pleasant dreams, Hill Valley. 
And the Expo would like to remind you that you can find everything you need to transform your dreams into reality at Howl's Hardware. Well, that one. Howl's Hardware. Serving our fair and city after since the rain, what else? An artificial rainbow. Wait, no, get the diamond shaped prism. The good people of Hill Valley what are you doing, Marty? Are taken care of. Nice rock. And life is but I sweet. can't reach it. Oh my god, I do have. To... Oh, that's a rock. That's literally a diamond. That's what that is? It's a diamond. That's a diamond? That's a fucking diamond? Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me right now? That just looks like a light. I didn't. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm a big dumb idiot. I'm a big stupid dumb fucking idiot. Uh. Well, you can't reach it. Uh, knock it down with the and skateboard. After the rain, what else? Okay, yeah, and walk all the way over here. Reassuring all the good people of Hill good, Valley that their needs are taken care of. No, don't skateboard on it, you idiot. I don't know. Oh, my sweet. God. Oh, you don't even have to... God, Jesus Christ. Oh, look, yeah, you can totally see it. It's right there. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. Nice rock, but I can't reach it. God damn it. All right. Can we use the mink? That really doesn't need the added tackiness of dead animal pelts. T knock it down, Marty. Just knock it down with the thing. I'm good, but even... Okay. Oh, okay, so let's... We gotta activate the buttons at the same time. Agricultural advances will make it a breeze to feed our virgin Oh, population. I'm amazing. Look Tired how smart I am. I figured it out after 23 job. fucking Just minutes. A button. Presto. Well, and to be fair, it's been longer than that. Crops. Just borrowing it. <sighs> hey, we have all the things, Trixie. Hi, Trix. Oh, Hiya, kiddo. It's time. Like it's time to oh, ruin another right. life. You got all the props I asked for? Yes, <laughs> we have all of them. Yet, no. I'm working on what are you talking about? Not all of them yet. I mentioned to give Miss High and Mighty. What are you an talking eyeball? about, Marty? We have all the things. We have a prism. If you squint, it almost kind of looks like a big diamond. It is a big fucking diamond. What else do you need, man? What else do you need? We have all the things. Hey, Trixie, look. Voila. Say, oh my god. For a you have to rock. literally give Amy. it to her. Keep that up and I may take a real shine to you. Uh, okay. you take a fake shine to Emmett. I'm working on it. How about the furs in the photo album? I have them. I'll get them to you. But I have to literally hand them to you. <sighs> hey Trixie. Are these furs good enough? Well, they're a little ratty, but uh they'll work. I'll, now, I'll put that, that in my pocket. Album, and we'll be in business. Okay, yeah, I have the photo album too. It's almost like you could have all done this by saying, like, have a dialogue option. I like, hey, I have all the things like for you. Asked. Let's see. <sighs> Gee, he's not bad looking in an egghead kind of way. Remember, I don't want you seducing him for real. I ain't a cradle robber, kiddo. So, you got everything you need well, for Well, that's your good, big Trixie. Scene? Everything except for your friend, Emmett Brown. Redheaded guy about yay high. He'll be the one with Edna Strickland. Not for long, he won't. Dun Great. dun dun dun. Although that's what we. Hey, there he is. Hey, look, speak of the devil. He's gonna he's gonna run right into the Delorean. He's in the Delorean. No one sees the Delorean there. I'm going crazy. He's here, and it's here. He's here, yeah, right over there. Perfect. You go distract him, and I'll get ready for my grand entrance. Oh, you do that. I'll go distract him. Ah. You, by the fake DeLorean. Hey, Andy, what's keeping you? No, uh, hello, Michael. Is the DeLorean gone? I I've got a mild case of stage fright. I'm about to play my big scene, you know? I think it's gone no now. No telling how Edna's gonna react. Wish me luck. Oh, for Pete's sake. Do it, Marty. Do it, Marty. Yes. That was so subtle. You've, uh, got something on your suit. Oh, so I have. It is time to ruin your life. 
Anti-stain formula, work your magic. Emmett! Just in the nick of time. Wait, what? Step back now. We're gonna need a little space here. Oh, aren't you a vision? Like something that descended from the heavens. Yes, I'm feeling a bit elevated at the moment. There's something I've just gotta ask Wait. you. Wait, your tie's a bit crooked. I've been holding it inside for weeks now, and I've simply gotta get it off my chest. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh-oh. My grandfather's <laughs> suit! My formula! Oh. Oh, look! Turn your head! I'll be right back, and we can try this all over and again. And it's Lethrop Brown! Huh? Uh-oh. Lexi Trotter! How do you know this woman? I don't! I mean, I listened to some of her records, and I may have taken a picture or two yes. of her, but I... Go on! Deny to the world that you know me! Perhaps it is true, but I know you all too well. What is going on here? <laughs> you rich boys are all alike. You think material possessions can compensate for a broken heart? Well, you can take back your furs and take back this gaudy diamond Ow, too. Ow. I don't need your expensive presents. I need you. And more importantly, little Emmett Jr. needs you. <laughs> well, <laughs> she really went the whole nothing. nine with that. Apparently you are not the man I took you for. Yay. Yay. The mental alignment meter proves it. I am the man you fell in love with. Yes, put the card in, card. Emmett. Put it in, Emmett. Yes. And now your ruination is complete. Womp womp. I should have known. A degenerate criminal. <laughs> what? Get out of my sight. I never oh, want to shit, see you assault. Again. That was rough Emmett. i'm sorry you had to go through it but things are gonna be okay you and me can oh he's taking off it. bye oh good the delorean's gone that went off great huh yeah maybe too great mission accomplished and now we do a high five freeze frame right with trixie high five freeze frame we're played out no damn it damn it is he gonna go kill himself Oh, that would be that would be really dark. He's on top of the courthouse. Emmett, go away! Oh my God, he is on top God, of the courthouse. Where are you? He is. I'm sorry you had to go through that scene at the expo. Things didn't work out the way you expected. But, but let's go see Frankenstein. Okay, see, I I know how this story turns out, and <laughs> he's gonna kill himself. Oh my God, things are getting dark. The story is over. Holy <gasps> shit. Think of the future. Hey there, Emmett. Don't throw away your future. I don't have any future. <sighs> they say I'm crazy, got no sense, but I don't care. They may oh, or may not. Oh, this mean is offense, really, really dark. Care. Stop. <sighs> What are you doing up here? Don't jump! I wasn't gonna jump. Oh, well, don't then fall then. Where I come when I want to think. Oh yeah, because oh. that's where everyone I goes be to think. Alone. Oh. Carry on then. Tell me more. Cut it well, I'm out. I'm afraid there isn't any time for that. Y you need to act. Can't you take a hint? I don't want you here. I don't need you. I don't you need don't anybody. You need. And you do. As a matter of fact, yeah, you need. Get a good shot. All of them see Frankenstein. Engage your Get emotions. Some perspective. Think about it. All the people who have it even worse than you. For what? instance, uh, Frankenstein's monster. Oh, Frankenstein. I tell you that my very life force is drained away, and you want to talk about Hollywood monster movies. Yes. It's a very inspirational monster movie. Especially the scene where they bring the monster to life. There's this big gurney that lifts him up into the air and and see there's this wild storm going on and lightning crashing everywhere it's amazing and you just got to see it Emmett. it'll change your life it'll literally Look change your life which light is flashing yellow apathy i don't care about movies i don't care about anything anymore and i never will don't well you sound you depressed care. sounds like you need some medication combination of therapy and you know some 
Good old Your fashioned love. Broken, I know. First breakup's a bitch, but you'll fall in love again sooner or later. Much later, but don't think about that. that. She's worth waiting for. Spare me the platitudes. Now that Edna has turned my heart into a desiccated husk, I'm done with love forever. You you care about love, You still care about inventing things. <laughs> inventing is overrated. 99% hype, 10% fraud. Name one invention that ever did anybody any good. Uh, Post-it notes. Post-it notes. <laughs> okay, if we say the light bulb, he's going to bring up Tesla. At least I hope he will. Because Tesla got fucked out of that. The cars kill lots of people. The telephone? Hey. Hey, he doesn't know about telemarketers and shit yet. The telephone? Think how that invention has revolutionized the whole you world. You could talk to people. Yes. Now a person can be rejected long distance. Oh, it's fine. Think about Edison and the light bulb. No, that not was a Edison. Great invention. He's a dickhead. Yeah, might have been. If there was anything in this miserable world worth illuminating. Oh, you need a hug. The automobile was a great invention, right? You love cars. Yes. If I'm lucky, I may be struck by one today. That's the spirit. Help me out here. You're getting on my nerves, Corleone. At least you would be if I still cared about anything. You care about me. Me? You care about me, Doc. <laughs> you? Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> you. You did this to me. Uh-oh. Did what? I was perfectly content drudging away in my dad's law office. You show up out of nowhere, get me all excited about inventing, and disappear. Two months later, you show up again, you trick me into making a hero out of myself and getting involved with Edna Strickland. Then you appear a third time and pretend to be my friend just so you can yank the rug out from under me and send me sprawling into the dirt. Yes. Okay, I can work with that. <laughs> I loathe you, Michael Corleone. Or is that even your real name? No, I picked a different name the first time. But... Yeah, it's totally my real name. Sure it is. Of course it is. <laughs> well, it's a dumb name. And I guess I'm dumb for getting all worked up over somebody with such a dumb name. Well, fuck you too, buddy. Okay. Marty. My name Here's is my Marty. real name. Oh, so everything you've told me has been a lie. Yes. More or less. Why? Why did you ruin my life? I did it for your own. I did it for the hell of it. I did it for your own Edna good. It was no good for you. She was leading you down the wrong path. I see. You had my best interests at heart. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Just like my father. Oh, but there's more to it, see. I did it for the sake of your, your future. Your father doesn't know your true path. And you do. Yes. How is it that I could create a mental alignment meter and yet fail to realize that you are completely delusional? Oh, what does it matter? The world is absurd. No, it's a mad I know world. exactly what I'm doing. See. Did it for the sake of everybody's I know this future. Sound crazy, but you gotta listen. In 1985, you're gonna invent a time machine. You're right. It sounds crazy. We can't even. I'm we can't tell to him this where shit. I'm coming from. In 1985, you're gonna invent a time machine. You're right. It sounds crazy. I'm just trying to explain where I'm coming from. Will you let me? Fine. I did it for fun. You ruined my life for fun. And it was yeah, so so I much get fun. My kicks. You bastard. There were like All puzzles that, time you that I had to building solve. building up my dreams, telling me I was going to be a great scientist. Cheer up. You're delusional. What a laugh. Dreams are only for people with guts enough to follow them. You're saying I don't have guts? You? <laughs> Look at you. You're a coward. You know. Oh. A like you? You don't know the first thing about me. I have more dreams in my little finger than you'll ever have. Hey, Reverse dreams psychology. Daydreams? That's what they said to Edison. Quit That's what they citing said to Edison. Einstein. He's a douchebag. That's what they said to Dr. Frankenstein? Yeah. And look what they accomplished. I'm sick of people telling me what I can and can't do. First my father, then Edna, now you. Listen to me, good. From now on, I'm living my life my way. I'm taking my own advice and I'm following my own ideas. My ideas. Do you hear me? This can only be good. I... What the hell was that? Scott, I've got it. Got what? The solution. Uh, my invention. 
I know how to make it work. Mental alignment meter? No, no, my airborne personal transport device. The rocket car? Not rockets, not rockets at all. That was my mistake. The basic idea was sound, but the propulsion system was unworkable. But the lightning, the lightning! Suddenly the answer is clear. It is? It came to me all at once, like... Like a bolt of lightning? Exactly. Static electricity. Super ionized static electricity powering the asynchronous oscillation of frictionless plates inside that. What's this stupid thing doing on my head? I mean, <laughs> you're, you're you again. Here, I've been wasting my time with silly mind reading tricks when there's serious science to be done. Serious oh, science. The expo begins at eight. <laughs> oh, no, it's right now. Anything else happens. What? I said, let's get out of here. You're going to die. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh no, okay. Ah, I need rope. This is what I'm supposed to do. Uh I can't swing on it while it's still attached to the statue. Okay, so we need to go down. And then we need to get the mind map helmet, because it's there. Emmett's helmet. I don't think he needs it now. Well then why is it clickable? Fuck you, <laughs> Marty. It's not going anywhere. Do I need... Okay. Okay. Well... Wh what the hell? Is there like a knife? Can I find something? Can I go for help? Ah! Better not leave him. Okay. I can't pick up the mind map helmet. Can I just catch him? Hey, Emmett! What? I guess he can't hear me from down here. Okay, so let's go back upstairs. It's not going anywhere. Let's go back up the rope. I can't undo the knot. This rope is made of solid hemp. I can't tear it loose. Okay. Climb up it. Let's do a, a trick good, on the rope. But you... I, what? What? What is going on? All right, go back. Go inside the courthouse and go back up there. So I do literally have to go well upstairs. Done. There we go. I wasn't planning on doing anything else. Okay, there's the clock. The expo's already started. Th thank you, Marty. That was helpful. It's not going anywhere. Okay. Damn it! What? I'll help it. <laughs> you got anything useful? Got anything useful on you? Only my wallet. Oh, and this portable anti-stick, anti-stain formula. Yay! Oh. I know what to do, uh, but uh, hold on. I'll help you. I'll help you finish. I'll your help new you finish. Invention. Great. The first step is to get me down from here. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry I had to get you so upset. See, I figured you needed to forget it. This isn't the time for long-winded explanations. No, but if you die, I just want to say I'm so sorry. I'm not Hang sorry about there. Edna, though. Very funny. I'm not. So we're gonna go down. All right, keep going down. Pick up this thing. Emmett solution. This stuff's dangerous. <laughs> Not really. It just dissolves clothing stuff. And I guess that's why this is made out of hemp and not... Oh, shit. Well, okay. Now we go back upstairs again. And then back down the rope. I don't have a choice. It's funny from Ebbett's perspective, just seeing a guy going back and forth, like, Will you hurry up, I'm about to die. Okay. So now we're gonna swing. <laughs> what, what, we're gonna knock him down? Well, this is enthralling. Oh! Gotcha! Let's get out of here! Yes! They're stuck! Do something before we're crushed! We? Uh... We need more... more of this. What are you doing? Trust me! Hold on! <laughs> what did you say your name was again? Marty. Marty! Thanks! Don't mention it. Whoa! Whoa. <sighs> 
The catalyst will need to be made out of tungsten, given the temperature within the converter will no doubt be intense. We'll have to harvest the filaments from all the light bulbs in my house. Your invention? You think you can finish it before the end of the expo? Think? I've got to. My future depends on it. Then let's yeah, go. it does. Of course, the oscillating plates will need to be calibrated precisely. Even the slightest misalignment could cause the magnetic field to fluctuate in intensity, leading to sudden shifts in polarity. The results could conceivably be catastrophic. Oh, who cares? Good. I thought exactly. Science should be messy and unpredictable, or else where's the fun of it? Yeah, I mean, if you can't just spontaneously die, where's the fun in that? No. Don't do it. Mr. Sagan, got the kinks worked out of your car of the future? Uh, not all of them, but at least the DeLorean's mundane terrestrial functionality remains intact. As usual, I have not the slightest idea what you're talking about. In fact, you remind me of someone... Someone I used to... Oh, <laughs> I used to want to brainwash. Yeah, my dear, don't worry. I'm sure we'll all turn out well in the end. Or not, because you're a terrible, horrible person. <laughs> Maybe for person. everyone else. But I suddenly feel very much like someone who's going to be alone and unloved for a very long time. Yes. Maybe I should get a cat. Lots of cats. You're going to need lots of cats. Nonsense. I can state with nearly 100% certainty you're going to have a long fulfilling life no how can you know that wrong i think you'll find i know almost everything worth knowing about you and young emmett and his friends fuck you doc Tell of the how much dumb you future oh my god we're just gonna have to go back in time just to fix uh, <laughs> doc why why doc come on or other doc, future bad doc. Uh, uh, uh. In the final Let episode. Me explain it again. I realized that it wasn't Edna that made my life miserable. Yes, it was. It was science. No, what? She used my science to turn Hill Valley into a police state. If Emmett doesn't go through with a demonstration at the expo, his dreams of being a scientist will dim just enough for Edna to step back into his life and steer him down another path. No! Doc. That fucks everything up! Everything! Oh. Well, I'm excited. This is actually pretty... pretty interesting. I mean, it's dumb, because technically I'm palling around with the Doc that doesn't really understand time travel because he's the doc that didn't build the time travel device so trying to explain to him why doing this sort of shit is bad is not gonna work because he doesn't know the ramifications of his own actions and we re we literally need to go back in time before doc even left to go back in time but then that doesn't really fix anything because then we're just uh, ah point is I, I want to see where they go with this because they've kind of there's a lot of shit going on and uh, and yeah Telltale pets max the dog. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Anyway On to the next part <laughs>